A two years. A two years. What? A what? A what? A what? A what? A two years. What? Yeah! Two years! Like, two years I've been celibate. Like, I don't think y'all feel me. Like, I don't think y'all understand me. Like, I don't think, I don't think y'all understand where I'm coming from. Like, two years. Like, nobody can say that they hit this. Ain't nobody can say they put their dirty bird in this. Ain't nobody can say they touched this. Like, because your girl been celibate. Like, what you thought? You thought because I was fine. I was like, I was giving it up. Like, you thought I was wilding out like that? Nah, son, your girl is celibate. Like, I'm celebrating two years, son. Like, y'all, y'all don't feel me, son. Like, do you feel me? What's down with it? What's popping? What's good? It's your girl, TD. Gorgeous threat, whatever you want to call me. But look, this month, man, this month so special for me, son. Like, this month and this year, I've been two years celibate. And that's a big deal for most people. Like, I've been two years celibate. It's, it hasn't been in, like, a, a easy... It, it wasn't always easy being like this, but I must say that it's worth it. Like, it's really worth it. So, look, um, I'm about to talk to y'all about something. Um, let me turn this down because it's probably too loud. But, I don't know. It's like, let me tell y'all how I get to this point. So, when I turn 18, I always had this mindset. When I turn 18, I'm dipping. I'm moving out of my people uh, house, and I'm going to get my own thing. And it was like, it wasn't just because I wanted to wow out or anything. It was, of course I wanted to do what I wanted to do, but it was more so of I wanted to be independent. And so, and when I turned 18, I got me a little job. I moved out, got my first apartment. And uh, I was in college at the time. I was in, I was in college for like two years. I wound up uh, running into my ex-boyfriend. And he, me and him met in high school in the 10th grade, well, in the 9th grade. We got together in the 10th grade. And so we broke up, got back together when I went to college or whatever. And me and him got together, and, man, I must say that was the devil, bro. Like, when I got with him, I dropped out of college. He dropped out of college. I, he, he enticed me to drop out of college. He was saying, man, you don't got to go to college to do this, which is true. You don't got to go to college to be successful, but I wish I would have stayed in college. But um, that, I wound up having a babe before him. And I'm going to say this, like, I love my baby to death. Like, don't get me wrong, I love him to death. I don't know where, where would I be without him, but I wish that I would have waited until, you know, I got married and had my uh, baby for my husband. And so, anyways, I wound up having a baby for him uh, at 22 when I got pregnant. My baby is four now. So I wound up getting pregnant. And then, man, was, we was together for like five years. I went through a whole lot of stuff with this man. Like, I went through a lot. Like, I, I treated this man like a king. Like, I gave, I gave him the, the benefits of a husband. He, he didn't even, like, wife me up or none of that. So, that's, I think that's what we, we need to, like, us as ladies, we need to learn how to not treat them as a husband because if you already treating them like a husband like what makes them what makes like what makes a man want to marry you if you already giving them the benefits you feel me so i'm gonna say don't do that that's a no right there so like i said i was doing all that cooking for him cleaning for him washing his clothes washing his dirty clothes man i did everything for that man treated him like a king and so um um it was a time where i got like okay because my mom and my daddy passed us and so, you know, they, they don't, you know, the Bible say you shouldn't be shaking up with nobody if you're not married. And so me, I was being disobedient. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Me and him lived together for five years. And it was bad. Like, and then I got to a point to where I was like, man, I don't want to go to hell. Like, I started, going, I started thinking about that. Like, man. Like, so I told him, I'm like, bro, we got to get married. Like, we already acting like we married. Like, we might as well just get married. And so he like, man. Uh, we gonna get married, but and he never popped the question. He never even brung it up unless I brought it up or whatever. And so I always had this guilty feeling, like man, like if I was to, cause you know we was we was sexing and everything, and I always had this feeling, like man, like what if me laying down right now having sex with him, what if God come back? Like I'm going to hell. Like and if I, I ain't going to hell, I probably just be left behind if God was to come back. And so um. I don't want, you know, I ain't trying to go through that or whatever. So I told him, I'm like, bro, like, we got to get it together. Like, 
we we can we could go to hell like doing this or whatever and he he like man i gotta get i gotta have sex basically like he don't care what i'm saying and so me trying to please him and basically not worrying about how god feel me trying to please him i just continued on doing what i was doing or whatever and so that was all bad that man that little situation was a whole hot mess right there like our last year of being together he wanted to put in his hands on me and so i feel to believe if you basically god is a jealous guy and god been trying to get me out that situation god been wanting me out of there first of all i shouldn't even been in that situation from the jump but i feel to believe god makes stuff happen for a reason and so he put his hands on me and so i had to leave or whatever and you know we all have those stupid moments you go back because you, you think you love that person you think you in love but me in my situation, I went back because I feel like, man, I got to make it. I got to make it work. I got a baby for him now. We've been together five years. Ain't no other dude going to want me. So I'm like, man, I got to like, I gotta go back to him or whatever. But he the one who called me and was like, man, I'm sorry for putting my hands on you. So two weeks later, I wound up going back to him. Wind up back in the same situation, having sex with him. Go and say, okay, you ain't going to leave. Like, I'm going to make you. I'm going to say, I'm going to force you out of this. And so I wound up, oh, uh, I just, something like, I just, something just came over me. I wound up going, looking in the mirror, I was just crying. I was like, man, I don't deserve this. Like, I don't deserve to be treated like this. I'm, I'm better than this. Like, I, I treated this dude like a king. Like, I, man, I deserve a king. I, man, so I wound up crying, praying, put my little music on. He came home that night, put my little music on. My little music was bucking my head up. I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving him. I'm leaving him. Go to church. Then I ask God, I'm like, God, I need a sign. Like, I need a sign. Like, I don't want to just leave and he the one, even though I knew. Inside of me, I knew that he wasn't the one for me. And I'm like, God, I still kept on asking, like, God, is he the one? Is he the one? And God kept saying he not the one. But I would try I would try to overpower that thought. Like, nah, he is the one for me. <laughs> like, because I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to start all over with another dude. Like, I've been with him for five years. Like, then I had a baby with him. I'm like, man, nobody ain't going to want nobody with no kid. Like, I was just, man, I was all over the place. So then I go to church the next day. And uh, when I, whenever I went to church, I didn't tell my daddy and my mama nothing that happened. I go to church, my daddy was like, uh, how long you gonna, how long you gonna stay in that relationship? He ain't gonna marry you. How long, how long you been staying in that relationship and you thinking he gonna marry you? I was just like, like dang, say like this man really talking to me. Like it must be crazy. And I knew, I knew that that was God. Like I knew that wasn't my daddy speaking. I knew that was God though. And I needed to hear that. And so right after that, I was like, man, I'm different. Like, I have to go by my people or whatever. So I wound up going, moving back in with my mom and them. And I must say, when I moved back in with my mom and them, I got closer to God. I got a better relationship with God. Like, man, like I was on my face more. I was, man, crying out to God. I fell so much in love with God, y'all. Like, and I felt like I needed that. Like, God allowed that to happen so I can feel this way or whatever. So I can feel that way that I felt or whatever. And so, me uh, getting closer to God, I started watching different sermons and everything. And I, uh, somebody actually sent me a video of this dude, D1, y'all. You know, y'all probably heard of him. Somebody sent me a video of him saying how he was celebrating. He was living a pure life and... Just saying all of the, like, all of the blessings that uh, happened for him. Like, everything that happened for him or whatever. He was saying how all of the doors opened for him once he, you know, was being obedient to God. And when you honor God, God honors that or whatever. And so I was like, dang, I need to try this out. So I wound up, right after that, I was like, man, I'm, I'm for you, God. Like, I'm, I'm going to show you, God, that I'm, I want to be pleasing to you. I'm going to show you that I'm with you. I'm going to really obey you this time. And so I wound up doing that, just that. And I ain't, ever since that day, ever since I watched that video, like, he, I ain't gonna lie, that dude changed my life. Like, ever since that video, I, man, when I, and, but you know what? I ain't even gonna tell you, like, I ain't gonna tell you it's easy because they didn't have some fine dudes come my way, like, boo-hoo dudes be trying to highlight me. But I got to the point to where, like, I've, I, I've loved, I love myself and I'm, I'm content with being single until my king find me, you know? And so... Whenever the devil, because I know it would be the devil sending these dudes at me. Whenever the devil sending temptation at me, I know I'm like, man, it's the devil. Like, God got something for me or whatever. And ladies, I feel like y'all need to wait. Like, I'm saying all this to say y'all need to wait until your king come. Like, don't be just giving your body to anybody. Like, don't do that. And I feel like, man, man, I feel like God will just, 
God would just open so many doors if you just honor him. Y'all should thank God for being single. Like, thank God for being single. Thank God you didn't lose your mind. Thank God you didn't lose your purpose. Thank God you didn't lose your, your dignity. Like, thank God for that because if it wasn't for God, I don't know, where would I be? Like, seriously, like, I probably would have been dead somewhere after that man put his hands on me. I'm just so glad that I got out of that situation. I'm glad that I'm in this, this place where I'm at now to where I feel like, man, if you ain't for me, I don't want you. Like, I don't need you. Because I feel like when I get with a dude, I'm not, I'm not there to take from him. I'm there to give. Like, I'm there to build him up. I'm there to encourage him. So whoever I get with, I'm there to give. Like, I don't care how much money you got, how much... Boy, how many blue checks you got by your name? I don't care. I don't care. I don't want none of that from you. Like, I'm here to build you up, to encourage you, and I expect the same. And so, I feel like, ladies, you should be on the same, you should be on the same mindset. Like, you shouldn't just want somebody just because you say, you can say you have somebody. Like, you should really spend your time with God. Like, like basically, get, man, get close to God. And then, then your king gonna come for you. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to encourage y'all to just keep that mindset of being close to God. And I'm just excited because I'm celibate. So I, I encourage y'all to stay celibate. If you if you still celibate right now, stay like that. If you just had sex last night, man, I hope you watched this video. I hope this video encouraged you. And um, I just want to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I want y'all to like, subscribe to my video. Um, once again, I'm going to say I love y'all. I'm going to say it to anybody that needs to hear it. Whatever you're going through, you're not going through it for a long time. Like, God got you. I love y'all.